Hey guys, Dave Nerona here, and yes, we are at Heydays right in the Ski Doo booth. It all starts tomorrow and Saturday. We're gonna, I'm gonna be doing live feed in the morning to let you know what's happening with the booth. Right now, we're getting everything set up. You can see we've got all the covers on the sleds. We're uh, pulling out the parts and accessories. We're gonna have the no bull riding. We're gonna see how Jay Menaveri goes against Tony Jenkins. It's gonna be awesome. So make sure you join me on Facebook and Instagram. Check out skidoo.com. It's gonna be wild. Hey guys, Skidoo Backcountry expert Dave Marona here, and we are at Heydays. And I'm gonna quickly show you some of the wicked accessories for your brand new Summit or free ride. We have the Summit X, of course, in red right here. Looks super awesome. First off, the Fox 3 uh, Evol floats, the QS3. I run the shocks last year and they're just awesome. Super adjustable and super lightweight. Moving back here, another great accessory is the limiter strap adjust right up here on the handlebars and it adjusts your limiter strap by two, you can put it in two different positions by two holes. So really cool and on the fly. Also loving the knee pads and one step up on the knee pads is the pull cord door so you can hide your pull cord right out of the way even though you're just gonna use it once a day because then you have the shot. One accessory I absolutely love is the tow holds right here. These are the adjustable ones. So they have a kick through and then you have multiple adjustments. Makes it super easy to get it where you want it to be. And then we've got the rail reinforcements down here. And something that's brand new that not a lot of people talk about is this year we have the rails are actually straight. They're not kicked up on the back. And that does two things. It'll keep the front end down and also it'll engage the back end a little bit more because of the flat rails. So you'll actually get better side hilling out of uh, your machine. And to finish it all off, one of the coolest accessories, we've talked about it now for a couple of seasons, is uh, the flap removal, the link uh, system. So when you're in the deep powder, you remove this, you can either attach it onto the sled or leave it with your gas for the day. And then when you hit back down to the trails, you just put it back in. Very cool. Of course, you can check this all out in the Skidoo catalog or at your local Skidoo. Do a quick update video on the new venting system that we have. I had a question about the front grill area, and so just to answer that question, someone was asking if this has changed, if it's gotten bigger. Same size, however, the grill kit that comes on the 2019 sled is now different than the 2018 or the one that you would buy for the 2019. Um, in the sense that before the grill kit was open, so snow could, uh, intrusion could happen through there. Now we've got uh, material so this air goes through, but no snow can. And that also helps we move up here to the new vent kit on the 2019, which is, if I take off the door, is right here. And this also has the material so that no snow can be uh, sucked in. And then it comes through this hole here, and uh, the finned uh, secondary creates the vortex, which drags the air in and cools it around it. So very cool. Another very interesting thing is that with one hand, you can now take the CVT cover out. And they're working on a retrofit kit so that if you own a 17 or 18, you can add this. And initially in the video, I said that it won't make a difference if you don't have the fin secondary. And uh, it actually does. So you will get the, uh, the vortex sucking in if you do that upgrade kit. And they're working on that so it'll be available uh, later in the season if you want to upgrade the kit to the new 2019. Very cool. Here it is, the finished product of the Slim Waterproof Tunnel Bag. This thing is super cool. Here it is. It now goes in position two and three. Um, there will be a rumored uh, accessory, maybe not this year, but for next year, that'll allow you to move it up to position one and two. But let's start off, uh, I love this bag. It's super low profile. Basically, undo the back clips here, and you've got a massive, waterproof uh, bag here. Now rumor has it this fits one Tony Jenkins or two Dave Neronas. But actually if you come a little closer it's got the yellow material so you actually can find stuff super easy in it. And then all you do is Velcro it up and then it's typical just like any dry bag, roller bag it up, get the air out. So how, depending on how much stuff you're carrying or how little, this just comes down and the clips work right into it. The other great thing that it has on top here is a place for your shovel. So not the shovel that you'd be using for AVI work because you want to have that on your person at all times. This is an extra shovel that you can carry if you're helping someone get unstuck or you're stuck and you just want to get your shovel out 
without taking off your Abbey pack. So very, very cool, man. I've got the brand new XPX helmet. You have to check this out at your local dealer. So it's made with M-Forge technology, technology, which is 20% lighter than carbon fiber. One thing that's also better is it's sort of more pliable. Carbon fiber gets kind of brittle in the cold and hard. This stays soft, so it's actually more impact resistant. So very, very cool. It also is super comfortable um, with a with a um, the magnetic clip for your um, for the chin strap, and then removable um, foam, which is also really cool. It's also made with less waste in mind. Carbon fiber can be very sort of uh, not good cleanliness wise when they make it. This is the opposite of that. It's the first helmet I've seen that's both lightweight and super comfortable. You can also win yours by using the hashtag that's Skidoo Feeling before September 30th on all your cool shots as you get ready for winter.